Hey, want to start an argument? 6.5 Creedmoor. Want to start a fight? 6.5 Creedmoor is the greatest deer hunting cartridge ever designed. <laughs> You know, 6.5s have gone crazy in the last 10 years or so. Justifiably, I think, you know, it's a good medium caliber cartridge that is effective for deer and even elk, and some guys will even use it on moose. It's mostly about the bullet construction and where you put that bullet. But to think that the 6.5s are somehow superior to all of their cartridges just isn't right. They don't have the highest BC bullets in the world. They're not the flattest shooting cartridges in the world. There are plenty of cartridges that can match or beat the 6.5s, but it all depends on which 6.5 you're talking about. Here's just a small selection of the 6.5s on the market, starting with that 6.5 Grendel all the way up to the 26 Nosler. That includes the old 264 Win Mag, the 6.5 Rem Mag, the short one, and the new PRC is really good, the 6.5 RPM from Weatherby. I mean, there are a lot of 6.5s out there, and they all shoot 0.264 inch diameter bullets, and most of those can be pretty high in the ballistics coefficient category, but that all depends on their shape and their weight. The thing to remember about any cartridge is the bullet's BC is dependent upon its shape or its form factor, its mass or density, and the caliber. So you can get a 224 bullet that has a higher BC than some 6.5 bullets. It's just got to be the right combination in that bullet. So if you're shopping for a good all-around hunting cartridge, don't assume that the 6.5s are going to be it just because they have that magic 6.5 number. The 270 Winchester hangs right in there. In fact, it's better than some 6.5s. And the same would probably apply to the 280 Remington or even the 7mm 08 Remington. Do your homework on ballistics before you buy into the 6.5 mania. Nothing wrong with the 6.5s, but I did some numbers, and if we start this 270 with 145 grain ELDX bullet at 2,900 feet per second, and we compare it to a 6.5 Creedmoor with the 143 grain ELDX bullet pushed to 2750 at 300 yards, if we zero both of those three inches high at 100 yards, at 300 yards, you're getting less drop out of the 270 than you are out of that 6.5 Creedmoor. Now there is a wind advantage with that Creedmoor. The deflection of the Creedmoor is an inch less at 300 yards. And as you go down your ballistic charts, you'll see that those numbers start to gradually increase the benefits for the 6.5 because of that higher BC bullet. But then again, you could get a higher BC bullet in the Winchester if you had a fast twist barrel. And that's a lot of the magic in the 6.5s. Most of them will be stuck in barrels that have really fast twist. One in eight, one in seven and a half, even one in seven sometimes. So do your homework before you buy. There are a lot of good cartridges out there. If you've got a 270, don't throw it away thinking you're behind the times. That cartridge can still do it all.